Ah, it's you again, Inspector. So... The items deposited in Walter Jones' safe clearly indicate that had he not been murdered, the marriage with Baina would have taken place, and you would all have been disinherited. I was totally shattered to discover this. You know, Inspector, it wasn't always simple to see clearly through my grandfather's intentions. I certainly knew of a liaison between Baina and him, but I hadn't really understood its importance, I confess. I more or less understand the feeling of loneliness that must have weighed him down since my grandmother's death. This letter that your mother wrote you gives you a very good motive for killing Walter Jones, your real father. It might make a good motive, I grant you that. But that doesn't make me a murderer. And you know that perfectly well. Proof. Where is your proof, Inspector? It's coming, Marco. It's coming. In the absence of a will, this letter from Edward Jones to your mother Isabella makes you the principal heir of the Jones Empire. Really, you talk rubbish, Inspector. You can't forget that our grandfather had the firm intention of disinheriting all three of us, Sonia, Billy, and me. Why did Walter Jones keep this compromising press cut? In the least, one can say that my grandfather had a complex personality. I guess he kept this document to prove he was innocent in the death of his son, Edward. What drove you to give up 10% of your estate to Nolan? Despite everything, I knew how much the Jones Company owed to the talent of Hubert de Nolan. I wanted to reward him for everything that he did for the family's wealth. It's as simple as that. The amount that I had planned to give him was not yet fixed. This document was only a plan. In any case, this is not yet signed. The services provided by Hubert de Noland also concern the inheritance of the estate. On this point, Noland could not get me sufficient guarantees concerning my inheritance. Simbi Lactar. Does this name mean anything to you? I'd like to know if you saw him these last few days. No, I don't have the honor of knowing this man. Sorry, Inspector. The murderer would have had us all believing in Nolan's suicide if he'd not overlooked this fragment of the letter which changes everything. I have the impression that you are losing the thread of your investigation, Inspector. I want you to find my grandfather's murderer. This document is a new confession from Nolan about his financial swindling to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars. And it is also the proof that my grandfather was the person behind Edward Jones' murder. Don't you find it a bit strange that the housekeeper, Simbi Lakhtar, could have been closed up in the technical room for three days without anyone noticing? Strange? No. I am ready to bet that an individual who is a bit resourceful can hide for entire months in this tower without anyone noticing his presence. It seems proven that these gloves are yours and that they were used to hold the arm of the weapon used for the crime. Maybe you don't know that they carry traces of the flax oil that was found on the stock of the weapon which killed your grandfather. What might one think about all that, Marco? This is all utterly phony, Inspector. Your TV cop flights of fancy don't hold water for one second, okay? This tower is falling into the ocean, and we're all going to sink with it. So keep your conclusions for the lunatics who want to hear you. I, for one, want to try first to save my life and get the hell out of here right now. Do you have any idea of what I found on Simbi Lactar's keycard, Mr. Jones? No, I don't know. But get to the point, Inspector. Your fingerprints. Oh, yes? It's certainly the result of a blunder by Lorenzo. He gave me this card by mistake. He took it back from me and finally gave me the right card, but that's all there is to it. Yeah, why not? I will dig into this. Barnes, it's Jones. Did you do what I told you for the rescue? But what the hell are you doing? And so? Okay. The weather. But I don't give a damn about the weather. Okay, okay, it, it's okay. I get it. Yes. Thanks anyway. Bye.
I just have some questions to ask you. I want justice to be rendered to you, Baina. These were the last wishes of Walter Jones. The items deposited in Walter Jones's safe clearly indicate that had he not been murdered, the marriage with you would have taken place, and the heirs would all have been deprived of the estate. <laughs> this sordid letter from Isabella to her son Marco gives him a solid motive to kill Walter Jones. Don't you find it a bit strange that the housekeeper, Simbi Lakhtar, could have been closed up in the technical room for three days without anyone noticing? <laughs> I just have some questions to ask you. I want to render justice to your daughter, Baina, by carrying out Walter Jones's last wishes. Mm. You are a good man and my door will always be open to you. That is, if we get out of here alive, Jack Norm. The items deposited in Walter Jones' safe clearly indicate that had he not been murdered, the marriage with Baina would have taken place and the heirs would all have been deprived of the estate. The death of old Jones is not a good deal for me, Jack Norm. Baina and Walter Jones were to have married in the chapel of the tower. Walter Jones called it the Chapel of Anna Jones. It is a very secret place. Now, Walter Jones is dead and no one else can go into the chapel. Yes, this is really a bad situation. I had ordered flowers and sheets for the altar. I had also invited my friends, as well as a shaman, for the ceremony. It was a marriage that would have settled everything properly, Jack Norm. Now everyone is going to lose a lot of money. Where is this chapel you're talking about? It is hidden in Jones's tower, near his suite, I think. But only Jones himself knew how to get in. This sordid letter from Isabella to her son Marco gives him a solid motive to kill Walter Jones. Old Jones was the most evil man I ever knew in my life, Jack Norm. He hurt a lot of people around him. He was full of poison, and he is dead from his poison. Baina also suffered a lot because of him. And if Marco killed old Jones, then that is a good thing, and I say he was right. Simbi Lactar. Does this name mean anything to you? I'd like to know if you saw him these last few days. Simbi Lactar is a good fisherman and a brave man, Jack Norm. Simbi Lactar worked for Old Jones. I have not seen Simbi Lactar since Old Jones fired all the Maladivians. Don't you find it a bit strange that the housekeeper Simbi Lactar could have been closed up in the technical room for three days without anyone noticing? Simbi Lactar cannot hide in Old Jones's tower. A bad man hides. Simbi Lactar is a good man, Jack Norm. Surely.
Noland was going to reveal something to me yesterday evening, and he committed suicide. My number one suspect is slipping from my fingers, as if by chance. Hubert, it's me, Lorenzo. I absolutely have to speak to you. Hubert? Hubert, is everything okay? What? What the? Oh my god. All this blood. Oh, how oh, horrible. Listen to me, everyone. Hubert de Nolent is dead. He committed suicide, I think. I just found him with his gun in his hand. There was blood everywhere. This is totally insane. What a horror, my God. He committed suicide. Are you sure? Old Joe's dead. Nolent dead. Madness has descended on the tower of Old Joe's. What are you saying? Hubert de Nolent? It's not possible. No trace of fingerprints on this weapon. Not a trace on the trigger. The murderer might have worn gloves. There's already been one murder. I'm not gonna leave this gun within the reach of all and sundry. A bullet always leaves traces of powder on the skin around its entry point. The piece of Jones's wheelchair that was missing is here. It's weird. Had Hubert and Nolan stolen it? And if yes, why? Correct match. It doesn't seem to be working. Jones really thought of everything. Obviously, Jones organized his whole tower around himself and his wheelchair.
The person who stole the remote wanted that this document not be found. The goal was clearly to prevent the marriage. Here's the code. I want to know who came to Jones's office after 9 p.m. So here, what is this? That's strange. Simbi Lactar. Simbi Lactar had come to Jones's office the evening of the murder. That's impossible. Totally impossible. He's a member of the staff that was fired 15 days ago. Well, look for yourself, Norm. Thanks for your help, Lorenzo. were the last people that step in the library before the murder. Noland and Simbi Lakhtar were the last people who were present at the scene of the crime. Noland the attorney and a certain Simbi Lakhtar were the last people to make an appearance at the scene of the crime before the murder of the billionaire. That's off. You're getting closer, Jack. But who is this Simbi Lactar who's just appeared out of nowhere? Simbi Lactar is a former employee of Walter Jones. He's one of the natives who was fired some 15 days back. He lived on a neighboring island. Why didn't you talk to me about this hot air balloon earlier, Lorenzo? This hot air balloon has never flown, and the weather conditions are particularly bad. I didn't want to give false hopes. Oh well, at the moment it seems we don't have any other choice than saving ourselves by air. What did Walter Jones tell you regarding his estate? I wasn't sleeping with Walter Jones. I was no longer his confidant. So go look for your clues in the minds of the heirs, Norm. You'll find something to feed your curiosity. The items deposited in Walter Jones' safe clearly indicate that had he not been murdered, the marriage with Baena would have taken place and the heirs would all have been deprived of the estate. Baena would have the queen's life that she so richly deserves. I understand better now why I could never totally hate this old fellow. He had a certain sense of justice, despite all his depravity. I heard that there's a chapel somewhere. Do you know where it is? Of course I know. I built it. You can find it in Walter Jones's bedroom. Unfortunately, he told others the way to get in, but not me. If you want to go there, I can't help you. This sordid letter from Isabella to her son Marco gives him a solid motive to kill Walter Jones. I'm not surprised. A man who could pounce on a woman as fragile and defenseless as the young Baina is capable of anything. Anything at all. I don't really like Marco Jones, but I can't believe he had the guts to kill his grandfather. 
I myself wouldn't have had the guts. Simbi Lactar. Does this name mean anything to you? I'd like to know if you saw him these last few days. In fact, I hardly knew him. Simbi Lactar was a housekeeper for Mr. Jones. He was fired with all the other staff 15 days ago. I don't think that he would have come back on the island. He would have been spotted. But I noticed the disappearance of his access card yesterday evening when I wanted to destroy all the cards. His was missing. Do you want me to see what Simbi Lactar did after that? Gladly. Look, it's odd. Simbi Lactar didn't move from the technical room after the evening of the murder. Here, you see, Inspector? Thank you very much, Lorenzo. I'd like to chat with you for a moment. Excuse me, could someone help me decipher this user's manual? Well, to be frank, I was happy to be relieved from having to figure out the wiring plans for the special equipment on Walter Jones's wheelchair. I've got to admit, I didn't know much about such things. But I remember having entrusted the plan of the tower to the design office of the Herb Deckard Company. The building of it happened during my break two years ago. So I don't know anything more, but I'm sure that the package insert will provide you with all the information you need. Don't you find it a bit strange that the housekeeper, Simbi Lakhtar, could have been closed up in the technical room for three days without anyone noticing? Of course, Inspector. It makes no sense at all. Did Hubert de Noland have a suicidal temperament? An old shark like Noland dies of old age in his bed, Norm. He doesn't commit suicide. Very well, thank you. Is the death of Hubert de Nolan a real suicide? The death of Hubert de Nolan is a murder masquerading as a suicide. The death of Hubert de Nolan is a murder masquerading as a suicide. Ah, uh, well, Jack, you have a second murder on your hands. You haven't done yet with this nest of vipers. The two crimes are connected, that's for sure. But don't forget our priorities to arrest the billionaire's murderer. Just one question. I won't be here for long. Excuse me, I am distracted. I have what I need. See you later. <laughs> 